Hello everyone, konnichiwa. Welcome to this video which is the sixth lesson of the basic Japanese series for beginners. You will learn how to count floors of a building, structure, etc. And you will be able to say the floors like first floor, second floor and so on in Japanese. You will also learn the interrogative which floor that will help you in framing questions. So please watch it till the end. To count floors, we will use numbers. I hope you are all familiar with numbers in Japanese. If you are not, please watch my video on numbers and master how to pronounce the smaller numbers first. Anyways, for the benefit of all my viewers, let me revise the numbers from 1 to 10 in Japanese. 1 is Ichi, 2 is Ni, 3 is Sa, 4 is Yo, 5 is Go, 6 is Roku, 7 is Nana, 8 is Hachi, 9 is Kyu, and 10 is Ju. Before I go to the counter, I must tell you that in Japan, the floor which is level with the ground is called the first floor or 1F. The floor above it is the second floor or 2F and so on. So, we have to start counting from 1 from the ground level itself. Okay? Now, let me go to the counter. The word kai is the counter which is used to indicate the floor of a building or structure. To express the floor number, just add kai as a suffix to the number in Japanese. For example, if you want to say fifth floor, you will add kai to go. It will become go kai. It is as simple as that. However, for some numbers like 1, 3, 6, 8 and 10, you have to take care of the pronunciation. Even though 1 is ichi for the first floor and whenever the floor number is ending with 1, the part corresponding to 1 has to be pronounced as ikkai. For example, 11th floor will be ju ikkai. Now, for third floor and whenever the floor number is ending with 3, the part corresponding to 3 has to be pronounced as sangai. For example, 13th floor will be ju sangai. Next, for 6th floor and whenever the floor number is ending with 6, the part corresponding to 6 has to be pronounced as rokkai. For example, 26th floor will be niju rokkai. On similar lines, for 8th floor and whenever the floor number is ending with 8, the part corresponding to 8 has to be pronounced as hakkai. For example, 38th floor will be sanju hakkai. For 10th floor, it is jukkai. For others, it is simple. You just need to add kai to the normal reading. For example, if you want to say 39th floor, you will add kai to sanju q. It will become sanju q kai. Next, let me go to the underground or basement floors. As mentioned earlier, in Japan, the floor which is level with the ground is called the first floor or 1F. The floor below it is B1F. The floor below B1F is B2F and so on. And the word for underground or basement is chika. The kanji which is the Chinese character of chika consists of two characters. The first one which means ground and the second one which means below. So, chika literally means ground below in Japanese. And this word has to be added before the number. For example, if we add chika before ikkai, it will become chika ikkai, which will mean B1. On similar lines, if we add chika before nikai, it will become chika nikai, which will mean B2. Okay? Next, let us learn how to ask the floor number. You have learned the word nan, which means what? You also know that kai is floor. We will combine these two words and the interrogative will become nangai. Now, to ask on which floor Mr. Rao's company is, in Japanese, the question will be Rao-san no kaisha wa nangai desu ka? And if it is on the 10th floor, the reply will be jukkai desu. I will give you one more example. You have learned the word chushajo, which means parking lot. Now, to ask the floor where the parking lot is, let us replace Rao-san no kaisha with chushajo. So, the question will be chushajo wa nangai desu ka? And if it is in B1, the reply will be chika ikkai desu. So that is it for now. I hope this video was useful. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to sub below. And if you found the video good, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.